Hey fellow problem solvers, Colfax Math here. Today we're going to go over assembling objects for the ASVAB military placement exam. Uh, these are type of problems that you might see in the assembling objects section of the ASVAB. What I would highly recommend you do is have a notebook and pencil out in front of you, pause the video, do the problem before I do the problem, unpause the video and then watch how I solve it. The way to get good at this exam, any standardized math exam, is to do a lot of practice. You have to be doing the problems to get good at them. So let's go ahead and get started right here. Okay, here's our first problem. Which figure best shows how the objects in this box can appear if they fit together? So there's just so many pieces. The way I usually do it, it's through a process of elimination. So what I do is I look for kind of the most distinctive part. I'd say that at a circle with the two lines through it. And then I look for that over here. Here it is, here it is, here it is, here it is. So it's in all four of them, so that doesn't eliminate any answers. Then I'll go to another shape. Here's a half circle. Here's, that's actually not a half circle. That's less than a half circle. That is a half circle, so this could be it. That's greater than a half circle, and that's less than a half circle. So I can eliminate all three of these answers recognizing that the correct answer is answer B. Number two, which figure best shows how the object will appear, same direction. So here are our four choices over here. Pause the video and give it a try, then I'll do it. So number one, I'm gonna look for that diamond. This diamond right here is here. I don't see it here at all, so it can't be that one. The diamond is not here anywhere, it can't be that one. And then the diamond is right here. So it's either A or D. Next, after that, I'm going to go to a trapezoid. That's a four-sided figure with two parallel sides. Those are kind of off angle a little bit. Uh, that thing doesn't look anything like that trapezoid. And there's nothing else that could be it. So that can't be it. Here's a diamond. Here's that exact same trapezoid. Answer D. Okay, problem number three. Uh, pause the video, give it a try, then unpause. Okay, so I have this big flag. Let's check that out. Big flag, big flag, big flag, big flag. All four of them have that. Next, I'm going to look for this triangle here. This triangle width is kind of the same as the flags. So we're scooted over a little bit. So that triangle is this triangle here. That looks good. That looks good. That actually looks a little bit small. See how low it is? And that is right there too. So I'm going to eliminate B. Next, I'm going to go to that line. So there's a single line right there. There is no single line there. There is no single line there. There is that single line right here. And there's that single line right here. So it's either now C or D. Now I've done this triangle, the flag and the line. Let me go to that little triangle there. That could be that little triangle there, but there is no little triangle here anywhere. Nope. So that's the little triangle. This is the only one that has it. I eliminate D. Correct answer is answer C. Okay, problem number four. Pause the video, give it a try. Unpause and watch how I do it. So first thing I notice here is that all these shapes are symmetrical meaning they're the same. They could be reflected over a line of symmetry. Got a kind of short fat rectangle, long skinny rectangle, and then these two L shapes. Um, so this is big fat, skinny, and it's symmetrical. The shape is asymmetrical, meaning it is not symmetrical, so I know that's not right. This one is symmetrical. This one is asymmetrical, so those two are out, and I gotta pick between here and here. Well, this is a big box right? It's nowhere near as big as that box. It could work, except that's too big. I eliminate that one, and there's my correct answer, answer A. Okay, problem number five. Pause the video again, give it a try. Um, first thing I notice on number five is, again, it's symmetrical. If I draw this line down the center, I could reflect it over itself. It would be the same thing. So anything that's asymmetrical, I'm just going to cross out, cross that one out. That one's symmetrical. That one is not the same. Cross that one out. So now I'm between B and D. So here's that trapezoid flipped over, giving me the two triangles, the rectangle, and the line. 
So that one works. There's really no way this could be that trapezoid. Those triangles can't be bigger than that rectangle and those are cut off. So that can't work. There's my answer, answer D. On to problem number six, um, same direction still, I'll go back and double check that. You know, a couple things about these is I'm actually not very good with this geometric shape reasoning. So I set up these systems of the process of elimination to help me figure them out. It's a lot easier for me to cross out ones that don't work than to find the perfect one that does work. And I also notice I have more likelihood of success doing it that way. So let's go ahead and pause the video, do number six, and I'll do it. All right, number six. See, we got that arrow back and forth. This one's a little bit different. It's telling you that a point of the arrow, A, has to line up to halfway on the box. So let me do that point first. So that point to the halfway point on the box, that doesn't go to halfway point. Oh, yeah, there it is. There's point A. There's point A. That is not point A. Now we're on the box. That's out. And that's on the box, so that's good. Then point B goes halfway point on a triangle. So B has to be the halfway point on a triangle. That one's out. Halfway point on a triangle. That one still works. Halfway point on a triangle. That one still works. So point A and B work. And then let's see what else we got. Then this shape right here is a box in a box. No box in a box right there, so that's not it. Answer D is your correct answer. All right, same kind of problem here on number seven. We got letters connecting points. Uh, I'm going to start with a, a first, point A. So A is in the center of a rectangle, kind of a long rectangle. So the line is center of a rectangle. That works. Line, center of a rectangle. That works. That works. That works. Then I'm going to go B, center of a rectangle as well. So it has to go from the center of a rectangle to the center of a rectangle. That works. That one does not work. That one does not work. That one does work. Then point C, I got corner to corner. Corner to corner, that works. And then where's my other one? Corner to corner, that one works too. So let's see, those are pretty close. Now it's really just going to be the shape of them. So I would say A, this thing is shorter and fatter in the middle of the box, shorter and fatter, and then this is longer and skinnier. So this is a better fit. Correct answer is answer A. That's a little bit of a tricky one there. Problem number eight, we're getting a little closer to the end. Uh, keep going, stay strong here, keep practicing. You know, the time you spent now is gonna make a world of difference over your military career. So just keep studying, keep working at it. You'll do great on that exam. Uh, and then have a pick of careers. If you're new to the channel, think about subscribing. This is Colfax Math, uh, Practical Math Channel. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at number eight. I got a star with a point A, and then this kind of right triangle has a vertex or a point to the point of the star. Let me look for that first. So the point of a star goes to the right of the triangle. That's a rectangle, and that's a different type of triangle. That one's out. Point of the star to the point of a rectangle, that's out. And then that's the wrong triangle, that one's out. Point of the star to the point of the right triangle, that one works. Point of the star to the right triangle, A to A. This is on the short side. This actually does not work. Right, because this point A is on the long side. So I got the long side. That goes to that. So I've eliminated three choices. Only correct answer is answer C. Number nine, uh, let's take a look here again. Pause the video, do the problem before I do it. Let's start with this shape right here. This is a hexagon, six sided figure. Regular hexagon means all six sides are the same, all six angles are the same. I can see the sides are not the same on that. So I'm looking for a non regular hexagon, and point A is in the middle of a side, and it is going to the middle of a triangle. Regular hexagon, nothing there, right? Not only that, there's no midpoint to a triangle. Regular hexagon, there's no midpoint to a regular triangle. Hexagon, regular hexagon, midpoint 
to the triangle, nowhere there. Regular hexagon, midpoint to the triangle. That's the only one right away. Answer D, right there. All right, problem number 10, our last problem. Um, go ahead and hit the like button if you made it all the way this far. Also, commend yourself. Draw a little thumbs up on your own piece of paper for working so hard and doing these problems and preparing you for the ASVAB exam. So give yourself a little thumbs up as well. All right, number 10, which figure best shows the objects in the box? So we're out of the letters. We just got to assemble these things. Pause the video, give it a try. Okay, so I'm going to take a look here. This is a chevron in a circle. So we got a chevron in a circle. That works there, there. Chevron the circle, chevron the circle, can't eliminate any. Next, I'm going to go to a trapezoid right there, parallel sides, non-parallel sides. That's there, there's that trapezoid. No trapezoid here, that one's out. That's a um, parallelogram. No trapezoid, that one's out. No parallelogram, leaving me with answer A. All right, well, there are 10 practice problems on assembling objects. Uh, hopefully that was helpful. If you have any questions at all, post them in the comments. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you for watching.